In this video, we are going to have an overview of the different things that are there in our interface. I am already logged in as the administrative user. So over here on the top, you can see the administrative menu to manage your whole uh, Drupal setup, look and feel and other things. You can either have this administrative menu on the top or by clicking on this, you can get it on the left hand side as per your convenience. Over here is the content which basically is for adding and managing different pages, uh, data of your website content that will be creating. We will be working upon this section or discussing about these things in details further. Right? So right now we don't have any pages or anything. From here we could add content manage comments and files and other things from this particular section next is structure this basically deals with the whole structure of the website it means if i go back to the website these are some menus there will be some like this menus coming up over here what will show up in this menu what are the layout of the blocks right what are the different content types when we'll be adding content those kind of settings can be done menus taxonomies views contact forms like if someone uh, you want to give a contact form to the user all those things are under this structure section we'll be discussing and dealing with these parts in the upcoming sessions appearance basically deals with the look and feel of our website right basically it's about themes that uh, what are the color combination fonts sections and other things on our website by default few themes are provided for the administrative interface as well as for the actual look and feel of your website for regular users who will be visiting your websites next is extend extend basically discusses about or is the section from where we can add something called as modules or extra piece of code which can be added separately from this section by adding new modules to extend the functionality in our website fine so right now uh, drupal in itself has a lot of core modules the ones which are ticked are enabled and the ones which are not ticked are the disabled modules fine so if you wanted any extra functionality you could search it if it is available as a core functionality you could enable it from here or you could search for extra module and add it like for example here we have a module which is called as ban if you enable this this module will allow us to ban visitors from ip address suppose someone is uh, trying to access or bombard your website or do something wrong with your website you could enable this module and enter that ip address and any request from that ip address will be de denied similarly there is a module called as book this allows users to create and organize content as if it is a book like page wise chapter wise section wise and other things so a lot of things are already inbuilt available as core modules then next part is over here is configuration where we can manage the configuration of our website like management of people fine the account settings which we had seen in the previous one management of our system like basic site settings this like what will be your site name what will be the slogan of your website the email address can be updated here the default front page which is what we call as the landing page or home page can be set from here error pages and so on right then content authoring is there user interface development media search and metadata region language web services and so on like in regional settings you can set the locale about date and time this also we had discussed during the installation like here default country is set to india suppose your website is being set for a specific uh, time zone country or something you could set it from this then people also we have seen from here you can manage people 
the permissions, what they can access and other things you can add, what manage roles, so on. Then there is this report section which is really helpful, which gives you information about your system. Like if you look at status report over here, it tells it is telling me that there is some kind of error, there is one warning and other things. General system information is available here and few other things. So in the status thing, the error is it says trusted host setting. Some setting is to be done. We will be discussing about these things later on. Some other warnings and other things are there. We will be working upon this. This is the section where you will be getting information about if there is a new version of Drupal or some other issues are there. Those can be shown over here. Fine. Then available updates specifically shows about any updates if they are there. Here you can see right now so if everything is up to date but if we have added any new themes or new modules that information can also be gathered by our system and it will be available over here. similarly you have uh, the system log what is happening on your system you can get information from here like you can simply see over here we logged in we had logged in at some time it's a session open for dexter and other things if there would be a failure or something it that is also logged Similarly, there are other things and then there is a help section, inbuilt help section where you can get information about different parts of our system and different inbuilt core modules. Like here we had talked about the contact one. So here you can see how to use the contact module and other things. Some help is provided. So a lot of inbuilt information is already there for your so that is a small overview of our Drupal interface. We will be discussing other things in the upcoming sessions.